right, guys. So that's the uh, weekly recap for the week starting on Monday the 18th, May. And uh, we'll start with uh, the overall overview of the S&P. So, I mean, we've covered that uh, plenty of time, I think, you know, in the between the, the coaching sessions and, and the live morning sessions. But like I said, we came to, uh, we started entering a few weeks ago into this big area here with the massive conversions of like moving average 50, 20, 10 um, on a weekly basis. Also taking into account that uh, the market has already basically bounced from the, uh, the end of March till where we are right now, uh, 35, 40 percent. So we've got like quite, you know, already a, an extended uh, market. The whole thing coming in a context where, you know, people obviously thinking that the move has still been quite controversial given the real economy and what we might have to expect in the real economy. But nevertheless, you know, like I say, any every time, we need to trade what we see. We, you know, we can't basically jump to conclusion, and we don't know how the economy is going to turn out to be. We might have an idea. We might have a thought about this. We might have an opinion about this. But the fact is that the market is king. The market is giving us the the clue as to where we should stand. And at the moment, basically, you know, the market was, has been very strong, uh, quite volatile, and and the market has been definitely on a daily basis. Uh, showing us the way, you know, we, you know, the market basically managed to go through moving average 10, 20, 50, and since basically for, again, for the past few weeks, been kind of like hanging in this area where I thought that uh, there was more more reward to be short at this stage, you know. So I had started uh, uh, shorting a little bit uh, earlier. Um, and then when the market basically opened up this week, you know, with a big gap up, but still didn't manage to basically go anywhere. I took this, I took advantage of basically just putting a, I had a very small position to start with. And like you, as I've said, I don't really like to trade the s and P. I I mean, if I, if I want to trade indices, I'd rather basically trade the sectors. That's what I usually trade the most. But it's just, you know, we've been talking to some with some fellow friends and traders, and we felt like, you know, there was a maybe a, a nice opportunity. So I, I, you know, I put a tiny position there. I kind of averaged up uh, on the, the top of the market here. And with and the second portion of the, the position that I put in was obviously with like a, a lot tighter short um, stop loss, almost like the equivalent stop loss that I had on the initial position. So um, and what happened is that uh, right now, I mean, we're looking at the SPY. OK, so this is basically the market uh, uh, as it was on the close of Friday. But if you look at what happened in the um, in the future market i want to put the uh, just on the futures market basically the the market you know that's that was the close the official close on uh, on Friday here and the market basically started trading um, down and what I did is basically I was um, it was basically trading right around, uh, right around uh, 2910 and just below that where basically I had my first take profit um, also started uh, bouncing back on the uh, moving average uh, 260 minutes so i took my uh, tp1 at this level took 50 percent off and i left the uh, stop loss at break even and i got stopped today on the on break even around uh, 29 uh, 50 that's where i had uh, my position on the break even so you know that I'm out on that. I will we'll revisit. Uh, today is um, 
Monday is, is Memorial Day, so the market is closed. Uh, the futures is uh, is trading, but uh, with very very little liquidity. But still, you know, the <laughs> the market still shows. Uh, uh, quite a lot of strength so we'll see you know right now i haven't basically really changed my mind in terms of like a overall um, position and i think that the shorts will probably get a better deal but we'll see at, as far as like you know this position in the s p right now uh, I'm, i took my tp1 29.10 i got stopped at break even on the rest and that's it you know at some stage you know i was on the red so right now i finish uh, slightly on the green and not on the full position but uh, it's uh, it's always better than, than than nothing um what else um okay um position that i had on uh, mrna so the idea with mrna was that you know this has been a very very strong momentum outperforming stock this year and this week it opened you know with a big gap up which i felt was you know way way uh, of a boat overextended move so i uh, told you about that you know we should wait for a, a pullback to uh, at least you know moving average 10 or between moving average 10 20 that's uh, that would be a nice move and you know to start basically hitting this uh, this level of uh, resistance between like 66 68 dollars um i came in a position basically when we started uh, hovering around that level you know around 68 40 and started looking for you know a port of entry on my 60 minute bar chart and that's where i found here the bounce off the moving average 50 on the 60 minute bar chart i waited a you know that a first engulfing pattern it was not like you know a real engulfing pattern but it was basically you know a break of the 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 high of the last candle on the 60 minute bar chart at just above 71 dollars i think i came in around 71 and a quarter 71 and a half in, in, in i don't i can't remember the exact level but that was basically uh, right there and i had a um, about a six dollar yeah i put like three i took i used like three and a half dollars for atr so um i use a seven dollar uh, stop uh that i moved at uh at some stage and then basically got um i didn't manage basically to to take my tp1 because the market didn't go uh where you know i thought you would go i thought i would be able to uh, to take my tp1 around 78 dollars but uh unfortunately you know the market uh got stopped by moving average 10 20 on the on the hourly uh, also if you look at the um, on the 15 minutes that's why basically you know the market we had the bounce you know, again that's where i got in here um but you know really find some strong resistance on moving average 50 on the 15 minutes bar chart and just basically went down and i got um i got stopped out i had a small size i had a, a small test of side on the size on on, the, on this trade okay i you know we'll see uh, i'm i'm not saying uh i'm not quitting on this thing right now i think that maybe we might see uh this uh, coming week maybe a bounce i mean this has been like again like i said a very uh, strong stock a very outperforming stocks and right now I, I like the way that he's that he's that he's doing but you know we'll have to see whether you know we can get like a nice pullback a nice um curving of uh, on the 60 minutes or maybe on the 15 minutes if we can get some uh, nice risk reward you know we'll, we'll revisit on the on the coming week um another trade that i took uh, covered i think on the coaching was on the kdmn um so basically um let's see where are we now the red stock and yeah so say kdmn was part of a of a gap is list that uh, we watched on um, i think tuesday if i remember or maybe uh, thursday but thing is like you know 
like I said, you know, I like the overall look of the of the market. We had basically this big area of resistance around like five, uh, uh, five, five and a half dollars. Uh, but you know, I said if we if we were able to basically bridge with volume on that area, then it would definitely be very positive because we had the whole upside which was uncapped, you know, with not much. Uh, resistance over our head so the idea was basically that um, you know to come in and that was on on this day here right here so we open with the gap you can see here and uh, the idea was to um, to play it around like 485 I think like pre-market we were at this level about 485 and what happened is like uh, I came in on the on the OPR breakout 15 minutes which was nice because we had a nice breakout on the from the last couple of days just above like 470 for you know around 470 and the first 15 minute candle was uh, quite wide like you see here I think at some stage when we looked at it we were 45 but uh, I waited for the 15 minutes uh, you know breakout the OPR 15 minutes breakout and I I got in around uh, four I remember like that four and three quarters 480 and then around that level so that's that's where I came in stop loss was about 20 cents and the first level of resistance that I had was the real level of resistance was around 516 five dollars you know the, the, the round number so for me you know uh, 475 480 as an entry with a 20 stop loss and aiming aiming at 495 around that level around five was was a decent trade so i, I took that you know and uh, managed to basically uh, get executed on that thing on the on the tp1 so i took my first my partial 50 percent at uh, at four around 495 but uh, then got stopped at break even um, around four you know 475 again like where I, where I came in so decent trade nothing crazy um, I think you know we'll uh, we might keep that you know on the on the back burner but again I think this is the area that we want to to play if we can start basically having a nice clean break through these levels uh, around 540, 590. That's going to be uh, an interesting move to play. Um, what else do I take? Oh, biotech. Took uh, this trade that I also talked about on the, on the coaching. And basically, we had, uh, I mean, look, you know, we, I'd already basically explained a little bit, but we had a very nice uh, break here of the uh, a six month breakout this week. And again, not much above the head, you know, as a strong resistance to be uh, talking about. I mean, I had like um, a few levels here, but uh, you know, most of the levels we we had gone through already on that on that day, and you know, we had like very nice risk reward that were offered to us. So let's go back to the daily, and that's where on the, that's basically what made me uh, decide. So that was the candle. That's the daily that uh, gave me the signal. The scans were all over the place immediately from. Um, from the uh, the open and you know basically this stock SURF surf was right on the on the on the scanners list from very early on the open um, and I like basically the overall uh, direction I like the convergence uh, the positive uh, convergence of price above all the moving averages the moving averages like you say converging the right way with the 10 above the 20 above the 15 200 a lot of volume was going on and I can't remember but there was like uh, some kind of news catalyst on that morning so it was uh, definitely a play that I liked and that was um, I think that was on the 21st so here first candle I'm sorry that's a 60 minutes here 
So that's the 21st here. Yeah. So that was the first candle, you know, it basically broke out a previous uh, 15 minutes high from the last day. And I just basically also played typical uh, OPR 15 minutes breakout with an execution. I think if I remember like just a row of uh, 495, the stop on that was um, a 60 cents stop. I reckon basically two eighty hours around thirty cents. One eighty hour around thirty cents was more than enough. So sixty cents stop, which uh, placed me around four thirty, um, which was basically just below the area, the clean area of breakout. So it was a nice, a nice level where I thought, you know, if the market had come back through that, uh, it, you know, it was it would have been a bad sign, but. Um, within like the first 20 minutes of taking the trade, I was able to basically take my TP1 at uh, 560, that area. And then I uh, kept the position and got out towards the end of the day on, I think on that break here around 580, 580, 585 in that area. When we broke down below the moving average 20, we took this, the low of the recent candle on the 15 minutes. I didn't want to keep a, a position overnight on, on, the, on that thing. I just wanted, you know, it was like real uh, day trading opportunity. So, um, so you know, entry around 495, if I remember well, basically first TP uh, 60 cents and the second TP um, was five around 580, 5 you know, 575 almost like you know the the first tp1 um although I, I saw a bit later that you know i could have had like some i had some decent levels around here uh, around the uh, 655 that i could have uh, uh, where i should have set really my second tp but uh, probably had my attention taken on something else and um okay uh, you know overall a decent trade a uh, there's a nash another stock we'll, we'll talk about it just uh, in a minute uh, also a biotech stock that uh, i was watching i i took a train on the surf but we'll uh, we'll put um we'll put this other one of the id on the on the watch list for this week to come the week starting on monday the 25th and finally um one last trade was on the PDD. So this has also been like a, a very strong stock for the past uh, few weeks. Uh, literally went from like uh, just around thirty dollars all the way to what six, you know, seventy dollars now. And what happened is that you know it was on my list and my scans for pullback, and we had this pullback here on the daily that I want to show you right here where we came back in between moving average 10, 20 daily on that level of a small consolidation support around $58. So um, I was alerted on my pullback scanners and I looked for a, uh, an execution on my 60 minute bar chart. So that was the day that was on the, on the Friday. The market opened with a gap up and then immediately trading down, but you know, managed to basically uh, find some strong support on moving average 50 and 20 on the 60 minute bar chart. And what happened is like here, that's the, that's the opening can 15 minutes candle. I didn't wait the opening, uh, the opening uh, price range breakout 15 minutes what i did is basically i was waiting for the pullback and i saw that the pullback was holding well the market starting curving here right here which is and that's what i took a trade so um on the pullback on the 15 minutes bar chart and making a new high for the last candle which was just around just above $62. I think like I took like a, a 62.05, uh, maybe five cents just above the um, the high of the previous candle. And uh, I had a stop of $2, which if we look on the 15 minutes was, uh, you know, 
yeah, but that you know, ninety cents, one dollar was a, was a fair amount to use as as one ATR. So I use a stop at two dollars, which uh, put the um, the stop just under sixty. And you know that was the area of basically uh, where we had the gap up. That was the area where we where we stopped. You know we had the big consolidation on the on the previous day session. So that was a nice. Um, I was a nice stop loss placement, and I. Um, so I took my first uh, two dollars uh, TP one on um, uh, sixty four dollars around um, around that level. It was quite quick, so within, I'd say, probably 20, 30 minutes, had the TP1 executed, put my stop at break even, and I waited for the rest of the um, of the session. I had a stop that got, I had another TP2 that was very close to get executed in the official session. I didn't mind basically keeping this thing on the on the on a swing basis. And I got basically done on my TP2 at 69. Um, I was basically, my TP2 was 10 cents below the previous high around 69 and a half. So I got executed on the um, on the post market, electronic market, 69.40. So out of the position on that. But it's, um, it's a stock that I'd like to basically keep, uh, you know, keep on the watch list. I mean, it might be, that we're gonna go a lot higher on that. So you know now we'll have to basically find, uh, try to find a, a new repositioning and entry level that suits you know our risk and reward ratios. Um, so yeah, that was it uh, for me, guys. So you know, um, mRNA uh, was a loss. Uh, Spy was a slight, a slight win. Uh, surf. PDD and um, were decent, were very nice plays towards the end of the week, Thursday, Friday, and KDMN was uh, was also uh, not bad. And for next week, um, I've you know I've looked at some uh, stocks. Uh, let me just pull this uh, thing here. Next week, I'm looking at this uh, this stock. I mean, we had like a very very strong day with a, a very heavy range, um, a, almost like five dollar range, which was quite unusual for that stock. But you know, a huge volume compared to basically what we get, and we went through like some very uh, important levels. Uh, right now, we we started hitting like uh, some pretty. Uh, heavy resistance on on the weekly and that's where you know you know we the market basically like stalled at the end of the week on friday eight and a half but that's something that i'd like to basically keep because you know we've still got plenty of uh, of space on the way up without you know having too much uh, resistance right above our head and next big resistance are going to be like a th around uh, 13 but thirteen dollars sixteen dollars and then you know if we can manage to break all of that at, you know then we will get a lot of potential. So I want to keep that that stock. Uh, by the way, on, on the list, you'll you'll notice that I will get a lot of healthcare uh, sector. You know, it's not not necessarily all biotech, but you know, quite a lot of them. Um, this stock also kind of same you know same setup. Um, Celsian Corp. You, we we just hit basically that big heavy resistant area around three four dollars uh it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to 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 break through that but you know we've had like a lot of volume going a lot of big volume going in the past three days and the last volume on friday was like close to 23 million dollars uh, 23 million shares trading and i want to basically keep something um to i want to keep it on my watch list because i think like you know there's institutional positioning on that, and and right now we've got if we can get through this area, we still got basically very good reward and potential on the way up. All right, now on the tech sector, um, I wanted to put uh, VUZI uh, because again we've had like a, 
nice move above the uh, moving average 200 daily, nice consolidation and a nice comeback of the volume. Um, Let's see what uh, what we can uh, what we can get next week, you know. But that that could be like one of these things that like the same same previous two stocks, you know. We could we could get some nice pullback opportunities, and I see that you know there's volume coming back, there's momentum coming back. So I want to keep them on my watch list. The next one is the one that you know I told I was telling you about OVID a biotech stock, and um, you know I almost traded this one instead of uh, SURF. But uh, well, ended up trading as URF. But this one also is, is has a very good setup. I like the convergence. I like the way that you know we've got uh, right now plenty of uh, of nice opportunities on the upside. Um, so I'm drawing my level. So see, you know, we managed to basically go through the uh, the important area of resistance right now i mean this this area between like uh, 560 680 this is the this is where the market kind of like uh, got stopped on on friday and but again you know there's been like a, a, a I like the way I like the conversion that the market offers. I like the way that the potential that we win, we might be able to, if we can break this area of like you know six eighty seven seven bucks with nice volume like we've seen recently. I mean, you know, next levels, real levels are going to be like eleven and a half, twelve and a half. So we've got plenty of potential. And again, you know, this is one of these stocks that uh, we want to look at either maybe on the on the on the the new breakout basis or on the pullback i'd rather basically play on the pullback but uh, we'll keep it on our list um, next week then we got zyne um, also pharmaceuticals uh, nice comeback in volume you know managed to basically break above the moving average 200 um, you know uh, the setup looks interesting, not as uh, not as nice as the, the previous uh, ones that we looked at. FATE also uh, healthcare sector. I mean, new breakout here. Uh, we have like a 52-week breakout. Volume was not that crazy, but uh, if we look at the weekly. You know, we've got some, we've got nothing on the on the left hand side to stop us. So it might be something to look also on the on the on the pullback basis. That would be an interesting play. And BJ consumer cyclical uh, sector. So you know, it's a uh, we had a, a lot of volume coming in. In the past two days and we managed to basically break you know these big levels of 29 and a half dollars 33 dollars and we did that with very heavy volume um, so again something to uh, to look at you know pull back play um, on probably on an intraday basis to uh, to manage a nice entry and a decent stop we'll have to look at it um so yeah it's something that i'd like you know to to to, to keep my eyes on um tilray i mean an old companion you know one of these stocks that had basically been the, the star uh of you know the end of 2018 where you know if i remind you uh, guys you know with this this was the stock that went from I don't know, like it was like a thing like around the nine you know the nine ten nine ten box all the way to basically 300 box in a, in a matter of a few weeks and everyone you know a lot of people got you know really hammered uh, big time you know being short that stock but uh, it was an extremely volatile but since then you know it hasn't done anything and the reason why you know I was I was starting looking at it because you know I, I I think we 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 started hitting like uh, some nice interesting uh, support levels, and we started like uh, seeing some uh, some volume coming back. 
in the past, you know, since since the bounce basically at the end of March. Um, you know, we look at that these levels around the 10, 60, 10, 10, 60, you know, if we could basically start going uh, up this in volume as well, um, next levels around 15, 16 dollars, and then again around like the, the 20 dollars area. So we've got some potential. So we have to 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 keep it on our on our watch list and and see if uh, we might get some movement on that. And the final one that I saw that I liked was um, C Limited. It's a tech company. Um, I mean, it has been like a, an outstanding performer um, over the past, you know, or this year and over the past few weeks. So, at this stage, you know, look, it's it's. I, I like just the way that basically we we get a nice convergence, we get a nice trend, we get a nice momentum. Uh, I think it's overextended, but again, on a pullback basis, we should keep it on our uh, watch list. All right, so guys, that's the uh, that's the list. You know, that was the the week recap of some of the trades and um, also uh, some of the names that uh, we'll be uh, watching uh, on the week coming week starting on the 25th. And that's about it for me. All right, so enjoy the rest of the weekend and the long weekend, and we'll speak next week. See ya.